Hey Christoph, welcome to the 2022 5 of 5 World Championships. We're here in the Royal Cork Yacht Club, the oldest yacht club in the world. It's within the second largest natural harbour in the world also. And can you uh, tell us what we are doing here? So we've got the 5 of 5 World Championships. It's the first World Championships since 2019. So unfortunately with Covid we missed out on Bermuda and we missed out on Sweden. But we're here today. We've got 80 boats entered, we've got 13 nationalities. We've got all sorts of mixed teams, we've got fathers and sons, we've got brothers, we've got couples, we've got everything here all across the world. We've containers, we've got people from Australia, we've got Kiwis, we've got sailors from everywhere across the world. And how uh, many races do you plan to achieve? So we're starting today with the pre-worlds. So we've got two days of pre-worlds, Friday and Saturday. We're going to do three races each day. Then we've got a day off on Sunday and the Worlds for Real starts on Monday. And we're going to hope for 10 races over the event, which would mean five days of racing, two races per day. Okay, great. And it seems we have a lot of legends around. Yeah, legend is the right word. Um, we've got Howie Hamlin, of course. We've got Mike Holt. We've got Mike Martin. We've got Nelly. We've got Wolfgang and Holger. Uh, we've even got guys who competed here for the last Worlds in 1982. Dennis O'Sullivan pulled out his boat out of the shed the other day after, same boat, after 40 years, and he's here. So uh, I know Angela's here, she's only missed one world since 1997. Uh, Caleb Payne is here, gold medalist in the Finn. We've got Stu McNay, multiple uh, Olympian, and uh, yeah, all sorts of legends here. So it's going to be pretty challenging on the water. Yeah, it should be. The forecast is mixed. I promised sailors that they were going to get all sorts of conditions. They've had beautiful conditions in the days leading up to this. We're here in the morning of the pre-worlds and there's 10 or so knots from the northwest. Um, it looks light for the next number of days, but it does look warm, so we're likely to get sea breezes. So if we have to wait until the afternoon for sailing, we'll do that to make sure we get the best of the conditions. Okay, so good luck to you, good luck to everybody. Thanks, Christoph. Good luck to everyone and I hope everyone enjoys the event. Cheers.